Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber, if you're new here. Um, today's video, I'm gonna kinda go back to my roots of how I started this channel, and we're gonna do a cook with me. Um, I was so graciously sent this air fryer by New Air Appliances to kind of review, play around with it for a couple weeks and test out some of the recipes and the cookbook that you do get with this um, and just see how I liked it. Turns out I'm in love. It's one of my favorite appliances in my kitchen now. Um, it's just so easy, convenient, um, healthier meal options, and it's so such time friendly. Like if you're in a pinch, like we are with our family, we've got dance and we have t-ball going on, and just all these summer activities that we're getting ready to dive into. Our schedule's been hectic, and I love just making this, especially at lunchtime just popping a couple of things in here and chicken nuggets, french fries, easy things I can do for the kids. It's fantastic. Um, so I use this just a lot of times when I'm in a pinch, but I also use it a lot for dinners when I am just wanna throw something in and get it together really quick. So it's awesome. Um, super healthy, <laughs> anything you make. You use absolutely no oil um, except for like, I do have some olive oil here, just some spray, because I am gonna be using this to do a, a bread recipe, which I'll get to in a second. But um, just tons of benefits this for, from this. I can't really say enough about it. So um, today's video is going to be two recipes that I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm not gonna do a meal or like, like a lunch or a dinner meal, but I am gonna be doing a couple appetizers. So if you're like our family, we, have tons of stuff going on in the summertime. Um, birthdays, cookouts, uh, family gatherings, just reunions, everything um, that you can think of and it's busy. And usually you have to bring the dish and I'm loving that I'm gonna be able to just not have to do pretty much any prepping, just stick it in here and be ready to go. So just super nice. And I will link everything below um, how you can get this, the model number of this particular one, and all the details about it. So you guys have that information in case you are interested, which I don't know why you wouldn't be. Who doesn't like healthy, convenient things to, you know, help your daily life? So anyways, we're going to get started on the two um, recipes that I have here. Uh, the first one that we are going to do is the tater tot bombs like i said i picked these tater tots up at aldi's this week and they are broccoli and cheese and i also got some of their fully cooked um, bacon slices and we're going to i used these in here before if you're like me i like my bacon to be on the edge of just overdone <laughs> I, I have to have it extremely crispy or else I can't eat it. So we're going to do that first and then we're going to move on to the monkey bread and just see how everything comes together. Um, I'm going to kind of walk you through everything as I'm making these and putting them in there. And hopefully you like this too um, because I don't see how I'm going to be able to function just making, knowing how simple and easily everything was to do in here putting fries in the oven and stuff in, they still don't turn out crispy like you would get it at like a restaurant or, you know, like this is fantastic for that. So let's get started and I will kind of walk you through and show you what I'm gonna be doing and then maybe you can take a nice new recipe away from this as well. So let's get moving. The first recipe that I'm gonna be doing are these tater tot bombs. Um, and I'm just, again, using the pre-cooked bacon. You could use uncooked bacon. It would just probably take a couple more minutes and the temperature might need to go up a little bit. Um, but I'm just individually wrapping the tater tots with the half of a piece of bacon um, until I ran out of bacon or ran out of tots, whichever one came first. So this is what it looks like going in. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit there. And the nice feature about this air fryer is you have to have the tray put in in order for you to even start it, which is a nice um, 
caution so you don't burn yourself or you know anything to catch on fire or anything like that so um, once the tray is in you're able to do all your settings for these tater tots I am doing the automatic setting on the french fry setting which automatically cooks and sets the time and temperature to things that you are frying like tater tots and french fries um, chicken nuggets things like that so it's automatic and it always comes out perfect so this is what my tater tots look like when they were done they were fantastic they tasted like deep fried veggies that you get at the fair um, so good so this next recipe is the monkey bread and I'm just melting some butter. I put a little Italian seasoning in there and then I'm using crescent rolls because that's what I had on hand. I'm breaking them in two, making them in balls and then dipping them in the butter. I'm laying a layer of the balls um, on the bottom of the pan and then I will be topping them with mozzarella cheese. This recipe you can, um, just because there, there's not a lot of us, I only made one layer, but you could easily stack these and make several different layers um, to make it more if you have a crowd or just a larger family. So it's really nice that you're able to cook so much in one little basket. So I'm gonna set my my time and temperature um, in this it called for 360 at uh, four minutes which is not bad to have an appetizer done in four minutes um, but the different settings you have all of the um, automatic settings which is your fish and your fries and um, different types of meat and then you also can manually set your time and temperature so really easy and convenient um, to use so I, again, will link everything down below, so make sure you go check out Nua Air Appliances if you are interested, and they do have tons of other different items that you can um, graze through on their website. So this is how my monkey bread turned out. It was so ooey gooey and delicious. Just. Uh, both of these recipes were just fantastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.